What is up guys, it's Mike Schwimmer here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to Gothic 3 episode 30 part 2. Um, now I checked my last recording and it was not as long as I thought it would be but uh, nevertheless I still have quite f some things to do here, I only completed one quest thus far. Um, so welcome in part 2. Like I said, you know, it was uh, sh shorter than I thought, but uh, this way it will be at least a clean, you know. So uh, let's continue with the questing around here. Let's go hunting. All right, follow me. I know where to find something to shoot at. Good. I like to shoot things. I do have enough to get the uh, low armor, the uh, chibi version, but I can get that one for free for 100 ore. Thus far I haven't, haven't found a better bow yet, which is too bad, I could really use a new one. Right, here we are. Usually it's teeming with game here, so keep your eyes peeled and your weapon at hand. Well that, that's it. They're just gonna show me this hunt around the area. Really. What a joyful quest, eh? And I killed most of these wolves with my uh, other companion. But I do need their skins. Well, that was it. Let's go, wolf. Back to the fire clan. I also still need one saber tooth. I can get that one in with a fat wolf clan, I think, or the hammer clan, either way. Maybe I can find some around here. Let me check. An ice golem.
Well, I do have quite some stuff to sell. Just looking for one saber tooth before I will uh, try to buy one. Besides, if my ice wolf die, I can teleport to the uh, uh, Hammer Clan, I think, to get some armor for a companion. I didn't got the XP. He was attacking his own mate because... Ah, oh, interesting. But my wolf is dead. Alright, so let's teleport to the... Um, let me double check. Let's first go to the Hammer Clan. Since I have to TP, you know, back to, uh, what was his name again? Fire Clan. Maybe I can complete the boost quest. Uh, Stenyard's Armor. Wait, Fire Clan. With who I had to talk? Stenyard. Okay. Maybe it's one and the same quest, I'm not sure. So that's what I'm gonna check out. Show me your goods. He doesn't have a saber tooth tiger. Oh, well, they are teeth of a saber tooth tiger. But he does have gold. Oh, he can't afford this. Wow, those tariffs are expensive. I need armor for Thoral. What size? He is big and fat. Hmm, 
I have some here. It's used, but it ought to fit. It's yours for 1,000 gold coins. I want to buy the armor for Thorald. Here is the gold. Here, all nicely packed up. Show me your goods. You have a saber tooth tiger teeth? No. That's too bad. What's your uh, ruby blade? Don't need that. All right, so let's find Ugo. Where is he? Oh, I could have told you that. Don't already have enough problems. Do you really think? I think this was a bit too far, but. Here are the ingredients. <laughs> now you're in for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Give me the booze. Here. <clears throat> that stuff is from hell, <sighs> let me tell you. Now what do you need in order to withstand that booze? Ancient knowledge. Strength is certainly not it. But I got knocked down, so I can't complete that quest yet. What else? Well, let me quickly. Buffalo skins don't have those. Don't have those. Okay, so I can return to the wolf clan to uh, see if he, one of those sellers there, has a uh, saber tooth tiger teeth. Show me your goods. Show me your goods. Only need one. Alright, so that one is done. Let's go back to the fire clan. Here is your armor. Finally. What now? If you want me to, I will accompany you as long as you are in Nordmar. I'm looking for men. You found one. I want to free the mine of the Hammer Clan. I still need fighters. I'm in. I will follow you. Hmm, sure. I will take them along for now. Come with me. Let's go. And as soon as I want to teleport, I will send him to the meeting point. Here are your teeth. Do you have any use for some gold? Is it cold in Nordmar? <laughs> I thought so. I took it from some orcs. Well, well. What? You're here? That doesn't seem to be any place where you don't show up eventually. I'm happy to see you too. Take it easy. I just didn't expect to see you here at the end of the world. What's up? I was planning to pay a visit to Robar. But the coward is hiding behind a barrier. You know I've got a bone to pick with him. That thing about the slammer? Exactly. I'll make him regret that. Nobody locks me up in jail and gets away with it. Not even the king. Not one day passed in Karinas where I didn't fantasize about meeting Robar face to face. What are your plans? We must get into the king's palace somehow. We? I need your help. Have you forgotten who sent you to the colony? The time has come to deliver justice. The king is strong, but we could deal with him together. What will you do once the king is dead? 
I'll worry about that later. The war is lost anyway. Nobody knows what will happen next. How can I help you? We need to get into the King's Palace. There are some teleporter stones that will take you there. We need two of them. One for you, and one for me. Long ago, they would keep such a stone in every castle of the Paladins for emergencies. Bring them here. I've got the two teleporter stones for the castle. One takes you to the temple, and the other one directly to the king. Give me the one for the temple. I will wait for you there. See you behind the barrier. Indeed, my friend. Soon we will kill the king. Because I haven't indeed forgotten who put me behind the barrier. Besides, it's the way of the gods to kill the king, at least in this particular path. Well, in all paths eventually, except for the rebels, you know. Do you need any weapons? I've got weapons. First rate axes. There's no better merchandise in all of Nordmar. Ingvar of the Hammer Clan may be a little bit better. Tell me about this area. Hmm, not much here. Ice and snow. Oh yes, and there is a monastery up in the mountains. But I haven't heard from them in quite a while now. If you want to know more, go talk to Fritjof. He's at the monastery now and again. How do I get to the monastery? Down by the village, there's a path leading to the mountains. Just follow it. Can you teach me how to be a smith? By Inosh, that I can. But I cannot show you how to forge pure magic ore weapons. For that, you'll have to go to the Hammer Clan. Show me how to be a smith. Did you bring your tools and raw materials? What do you mean? Did you think I was going to give you the materials? Steel is expensive. Too expensive to be ruined by an apprentice. What do I need? A smith needs his own hammer. That much is obvious. Just bring 30 steel blanks. That will be enough for 10 good blades, if you're lucky. Here are your blanks. I brought a hammer, too. Fine. That should be enough. Are you ready to start your training? No, even though he can't teach me shit. Teach me something about being a smith. And still completing quests, so that's worth it. Show me your goods. A hundred and twenty damage is a hundred and thirty. I think that's even better than mine. Let me check. Well, one, five points less, but more beautiful, but uh, it costs 35,000. And that I do not have at the moment, and even if I did, I would waste it for better causes. Besides, I can uh, soon uh, forge a pure magic ore weapon, which is far greater than those weapons, I think. I'm not entirely sure, but there's only one way to find out. Talk with the uh, leader. Enos be with you. You're a fighter, not a pilgrim. I can see that. Did you come from Mertana? More or less. Then you have already been through what still awaits us. Pilgrim? Why should I be a pilgrim? Well, the Enos Monastery in the mountains used to attract many pilgrims from the Midlands. But since the war, hardly anyone goes there anymore. How can I get to the monastery? Just follow the path to the mountains, down at the foot of the village. Have any pilgrims come by here lately? Pilgrims? No. But a young fire mage passed through not long ago. However, 
He headed straight for the monastery. He seemed to be in a hurry. Do you know his name? Milo? No, Milton. That's what he was called. What awaits you? The fight for survival of the clans. Orcs roam our lands with impunity, and we hide in our villages. But we're going to put an end to this. The Fire Clan will obtain the power of our ancestors and chase the orcs from the country. Tell me about the Fire Clan. We are the best warriors in all of Nordmar. We fight the orcs for Enos. Why for Enos? He showed our clan what it means to be strong. His fire warms our huts and heats our forges. It is only fair that we should pay him back in orc blood. Could you train me? Of course, I can teach you something. I'm the leader of the best warriors in Nordmar. Would you teach me how to fight? Um, no, there's nothing you could teach me. At least, nothing important. I am looking for Zardus. The Black Mage. He's teamed up with the orcs. You know where he is? No. And if I did, I would kill him. He has betrayed Enos. What is the power of the ancestors? In Nordmar, we've always had great warriors, skillful hunters, and the best blacksmiths in the world. Most of them have been forgotten, but the very greatest among them were buried in cave tombs. Their skills were to serve the clans beyond their deaths. How can that be? Every one of these heroes crafted an ancestor stone before he died. A stone of ancient magic. The art of making them has been lost, along with the knowledge of their origin. The ancestor stones grant the skills of their creators to whoever takes them to their designated location. What are you planning to do? I sent my six best warriors to the cave tombs. There they will learn everything we need for our fight. No. I'm very worried. They should have been back a long time ago. There can only be one reason for this. They are dead. Is there any way I can help? Hmm. It might be better if we send only one warrior. A really strong warrior. Are you good enough? Good enough for what? To go get the power of the Ancestor Stones. I will go get the power of the Ancestor Stones. I hope that your abilities match your courage. You might have to fight the spirits of the ancestors. They are furious, but you mustn't make allowances for that. Everything is at stake. History will prove us right. What if your warriors are still alive? Doesn't matter. We will send only one. You. One axe is better than six knives. Let them give you their ancestor stones. How can I find the Ancestor Stones? I have a map that shows all of the cave tombs. Go there. I am sure you will find traces of my warriors. Sounds good. Watch out. The dead are powerful in Nordmar. Is there a way to protect oneself? No. One must try to appease the dead. The Orc Slayers can tell you more about that. Why did you wait until now to send out your warriors? The Ancestors' stones lay in our chests for ages. Long enough for us to forget about their significance. But I had a dream. I saw the Ancestors rise from their graves, full of wrath because of the Orcs. They wanted to fight against the Orcs. Then I knew what I had to do. The Ancestors have awakened? Yes. You need to be careful. In their fury, they cannot tell whose friend or foe. You will have to fight them in order to bring the Ancestor Stones where they belong. But do not hesitate. They are dead already. Give them the peace they deserve. I see. Well, I was here about, uh... The whole support for the Fire Clan, well, Hammer Clan. But apparently that's out of question at the moment. Alright, so, adding your ice element and the power of the ancestor stones. Here's the first one. Um, yeah, let's do that, why not? I have a strong companion with me, so. And it's part of Fire Clan quests, so why not? 
which could mean I'm gonna say this in advance which could mean that there will be a third path uh, part you know but uh, only if absolutely necessary let's go my friend it's time to hunt And I'd rather do the monastery in a different episode. I could walk to the monastery. But uh, it's better I think to do first the ancestor stones. Mm, or shall I walk to the monastery? Mm. Let me at least get the one near here. Because one of them is uh, near the pass of fairing. What well, is gonna surely require some time, but uh, they will be done nevertheless, of course, because uh, they're part of the quest line, you know? And if you guys know me well enough, then you know that I like to A, pick up plants, and uh, B, do all the quests. Well, all those that I can do. There's a little mine here. Oh, it's your look at that. Uh, quite some nice amount of ore. Besides, I have a companion with me which could make things a lot easier. And in order to get the... Uh, fire clan to back me up in the uh, furnace act I need to get those ancestors powers so this is gonna take quite some time but uh, it has to be done either way and since I just started part 2 basically about 30 minutes now or so I think um, it if that were the case and I would have gone to the monastery then it was better to do the entire thing in one sitting you know um, and since this is part two might as well make use of it and do all the ancestor stones um, as much as possible as quickly as possible so that these parts are used in good purposes Should be one tomb here. But there will be a lot of critters along the way. A whole lot of them. Filthy beast less.
what here is one of the ancestor stones? Well, temples of the ancestors. Let me loot that goblin, my friend. Thank you. Let me first check out this area over here. See where this cave-ish area leads to. Because uh, there should be a warrior somewhere around here that would give me the Ancestor Stone. Unless the Guardians have the Ancestor Stone, except for the one that uh, Ali stole. Which is probably the reason why, you know, the Ancestors got awakened. Because of that stupid fat desert merchant Ali. For you, filthy beast. I'll keep one horn. Well, I keep everything that I find now because uh, as soon as I can make pure magical weapons and I will make an all weapon, they're gonna be as strong as a fook. I'm not gonna do that. Come, let's get this tomb. There are five tombs in total. Just give me a second here, gotta make preparations like drink, etc. Oh no, you won't. He's all right. I do need him for the uh, furnace. Uh, no! 
How many of you buggers do I have to kill, eh? And that fool there is only more. for you filthy beast good job my friend you've held out long It's at moments like these that I like to sneak and loot things so much faster. Showed him there. So much for you, filthy beast. Let's see if I this time can get myself something to drink without being interrupted. Man needs to drink, guys, if you're thirsty. Get an assistant somewhere. Mm. Ah. Mm. I call him Mr. G. Ah. Mm. Oh, Mr. G. Get him, Mr. G. Golem has, is having fun, guys. Mr. G is having fun. Since swords does not work well on stone. Uh. 
Thank you. That helps regening a bit. You're strong, Mr. Baldar. I hope my companion is hanging out. Well, is uh, keeping entertaining. doing fine. I'm Mr. G, don't stand there. Help the man. That takes care of that. Filthy beast less. Alright, so that was that. So uh, let's loot the corpses. Let's see if my good friend has the uh, ancestor tombstone. He has nothing. Already picked it up. Could be. Where's the end? Yeah, it's already dead. Good, good, good. Alright, so let's loot, eh? Oh. I don't have a potion, do I? Uh, nope. Too bad for you, sir. Oh, wrong button. Look at all this loot. Especially all those arrows, we you look at that. <laughs> I 
Well, where's the fat man? Oh, there he is. I'm all also the meat bug slayer. Nasty little animals. Broken. A a permanent strength of oh, hunting. Not that I need it, but hey, freeze free. show you guys a trick in a minute where you could easily recover their HP without any kind of magic. There's a hole in the pedestal. Something can be inserted there. It fits. That gold fits in my pocket. Yeah! Gold. Alright, so let me show you guys a trick. Quick save and then quick loads. That should do the trick. I'm not always certain whether it works or not. I never do it normally. But I'm gonna check it out. Make sure to uh, check the descriptions if you want to skip loading screens, etc. You know. This is just to check whether it actually works or not, because uh, like I said, normally never make use of it, normally I do uh, heal others and such, you know. Which will be the power of the fire mage. Healing uh, yourself and your companions at all times. OP. See, works, works like a charm. Both fully HP. No need to waste a learning, well, mana, magic. Alright, so this area is clear! Surely lags. But uh, I think it's because of all the corpses or something. I don't know. It was lag free when I, before I reloaded. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. A bit lag I can handle. Alright, so this one has been cleared, so I'm gonna walk this way, or this way and take a shortcut to go to that one. Uh, and then I will go to that one, that one which is at Faring Pass pretty much, and that one, and then that one, and then back to the Fire Clan. Alright, so which direction do you have to go? This way, most certainly. Uh, let's go fellas. After clearing the second tomb, I will, uh, or the third, let me do the third, I will clear two more tombs and then, uh, I will go to part three. I could also go first to this one and then, uh, go to this one or this one, it doesn't really matter. It is close by to go to that one, so let me do that this way. road to that way what I do love about this game is that the corpses remain 
which is a cool thing, you know. Most of the corpses are in range. It surely starts to lag a bit, which is a bit annoying. I have to go up there. No, that's the ham that's the wolf clan. I have to go up there, so I have to find a way up to this area here. Oh, that is the one. That is the one with Eleanor, I think. Well, hello there, wolves. You showed him. Well, either way, you know, all of them have have to be done. So, might as well do them in the fire clan part. So after the second one, I will go to part 3, I think, because uh, I'm not quite sure how long I've been recording at the moment. It's not that I time it, you know. I just do whatever I think I can do, and uh, if the episodes turn into, you know, longer ones than anticipated, well, then I uh, go to the part 2 or part 3, whatever it requires, you know. But in the end, whether it uh, will have four parts, five parts, maybe only two or three, most likely at least three. Um, or, you know, timestamps will tell, the title will tell, as well as the uh, timestamps will help you to skip these kind of things, you know, like looting all the plants, just for fun. For this bridge but let me make sure that I got all the skins because uh, it's also quest related still all right so let's heal up and then quick save One filthy beast less. This way. I'm always kill everything on my path just to make sure I can go full build.
<laughs> Chill before I die. I want to die as least as possible. Now in a hardcore run I will not be allowed to do this, but uh, this is not a hardcore run, you know. You showed him. Well, that takes care of that. Let's first kill these gobos. So much for you, filthy beast. Indeed. Filthy little buggers they are. But this most definitely not the one they are uh, faring. At least as the way it looks right now. No, this most definitely not the same one. <laughs> Filthy beast less. Go back now. Mr. G's bag. Doesn't look like there is one uh, entry here. Huh? Too many bushes. But nope, no entry, so it's uh, on the further up that's on the mountain. Currently. 62, wow. Where's the fat man? Oh, you stuck. You gotta be kidding me. Most definitely stuck. Go on ahead. We'll meet at the assembly point. I. Let's see if we can now leave it. No, he's still bulge. Oh well, then no companion it is. Let's go, Golem. At least he will be spawned. Uh, at least, I hope to the uh to the um uh, meeting points with the furnace
already nearly dead, hey? But it's also not the cave, but at least it's a mine of some sort. Bugs are causing the lag, guys, most definitely. Because these critters are ugly. to be had there. Come on, buddy. How much further do I have to go up the mountains? So it could be that the uh, next one starts in uh, part two, part three. I want to say part two, but it's actually part three.
Started to think that I'm totally in the wrong spot. Oh. defeated. even further up so I must go down this road again oh this goes further up <coughs> well what you call further up But at least some gold veins. down again really well then uh, I will teleport you uh, as soon as I'm done here I will teleport you to Faring Pass to see if I took the ancestor stone from Tom I don't think I did but uh I'll come back here later well up there back later which is the one I think near Faring I think not quite sure but uh, I can't get access to it from here. I'm more gobos. small groups you're not gonna take me down well hopefully oh madoshi <laughs> goodbye madoshi oh that's a long way down Alright, so let me te teleport to Faring. Oh, Faring. At least there is a second tombstone there, which I can easily get to end part two. Or to begin part three. Depends. Now that I'm here anyways, let's sell a bit. I almost forgot to talk with Tom. I do have that ancestor stone, okay. Good to know. Show me your goods. He only 
has 19,000. Don't need the mind crawler and mandibles anymore. Don't need the saber tooth. I'm gonna keep one horn in case it's the best two handed weapon I can craft. I hope not, but uh. I can't afford this. Let's uh, go to the entrance and quickly deliver the ice wolf skins to the guy at the hut and uh, see if I can get the other guy to help me with the uh, area. At least with the Enyar's tomb for Enyar's helmet. But uh, I think that that tomb is going to be the start of uh, part three because uh, I think I've been already recording for a half an hour, you know, well, an hour and a half slash two hours. Not entirely sure, or maybe even longer. It's already four a.m. Lol. So, either this one is Enyar's tomb or this one. Mm, let me check. It's most definitely this one. So I'll first go to this one. Which is this direction. If it's the right location, that is. Oh dear. Tab didn't respawn. So I uh, will teleport to Faring and uh, just end in there, I think that's better. Because uh, I think I have uh, quite to redo. <laughs> That much, eh? I 
that's uh, killing all these critters up here. Mm. Let me at least do that so I can teleport to Ferry and uh, finish the episode. I know this area is a dead walking. But uh, I will have to kill all the critters, otherwise, you know, I would miss a bit of XP, which is fine, you know, not really important. But makes it more legit, you know. I do want those gold nuggets. <laughs> Relax, fellas, hey. Eh? Because I still need a whole lot of gold in order to get all the armors that I want to collect.
Not that, not that it is a must, but uh, I call them the collectibles. Not like that. Hmm. hmm. No. Oh, this time, eh? something. <laughs> Think where the creatures are there. Alright, so let me quickly get these gold, then uh, teleport back to Faring and uh, sell some of my stuff and uh, then finish the episode so I can go to part 3. Even though it's late, I'm not tired, so I'll continue nevertheless. Alright, so let's teleport to Faring. sell some of my stuff, go to the pass and then end the episode, well, part two of the episode. Show me your goods. Thanks. Sorry about the lag spikes, guys.
Alright, so let's try some final meat and uh, let me close the uh, ep episode 30 part 2. But anyways guys, I want to thank you all for watching and uh, if you do uh, like the gameplay, make sure to leave behind a thumbs up. If it reaches a certain amount throughout the three paths, let's say 25 each or um, 100 in total. So uh, 33, uh, well 34, 33, 33, you know, in the three playthroughs divided by the six games, which is doable for you guys relatively quickly. Um, with 100 likes, we are going to be able to unlock the hardcore run. However, the hardcore run, you know, requires me to beat all three paths first. Um, which, uh, that's why all three paths count to unlock the hardcore run. But anyways, guys, if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you do hit the notification. And uh, feel free to leave both positive or negative feedback on the uh, comment section down below and uh, if you like what you see thumbs it up and if you didn't feel free to thumbs it down whatever makes you happy and uh, I hope to see you guys in episode 30 part 3 where we will explore the final ones which is these two I still need this one I still need this one I still need and this one I still need so uh, yeah I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.